Okay, today's video is gonna be how to make basic hole patterns using the three axis SMX control. You'll see that I'm in the program mode. I'm gonna to go to the beginning and I'm going to select my drilling event, okay? And the first question it's asking me is whether I'm drilling or boring these holes. In case you don't know the difference, drilling means I have pecs and boring means I use the same feed rate to go in and to go out. Okay, so I'm gonna select number one for drill and then I'm going to fill in all the blanks, right? So the first question it asks, what is the X dimension? My hole pattern, it is going to be at one inch absolute, and my Y dimension is gonna be at negative one inch absolute. My rapid plane is gonna be 50 thousandths above the part, and I'm only center drilling, so I'm gonna go 150 thousandths deep. I can do this with one peck, RPM at 600, feed rate at eight inches per minute, and using tool number one. Now, because of the subroutines in the control, there's a fast way to make a hole pattern as long as they're equally spaced. In this case, they are, so I'm gonna to go to subroutine, I'm gonna to go to repeat, and I'm gonna tell it that I'm repeating event number one. Then I'm gonna give the offset for the hole pattern. So the offset is one inch incremental. There's no Y offset, rapid offset, or Z offset. Okay, it's asking me how many more holes I need. I need three more holes. I'm gonna use 100% of the same RPM, feed rate, and tool number. You'll notice when I push look that I have a row of holes already. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the subroutine and I'm gonna do another repeat. And this time I'm gonna do my other three remaining rows. So I'm gonna repeat event one through event two. That's all four holes. This time I don't have an X axis uh, offset, but I have a negative one inch Y axis offset. You don't change the Z, don't change the depth. I need three more of these rows same RPM, same tool number, everything. So you'll see here I've got a row, four rows of holes, four across, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is now I have to make a, a different tool change and I've gotta drill all the way through the part, right? So this time, instead of using subroutine, I'm gonna use copy. And the reason why I'm gonna use copy is because I have to make some changes to what these holes are going to be. So I'm gonna repeat everything in my program, starting with event one and going to event three, okay? There's gonna be no offsets on anything except the Z depth, right? So I need to go another 300 thousandths deep and I need to do this all one time. I'm gonna use the same RPM and the same feed rate and I'm gonna change to tool number two, okay? If I look in the picture, you'll see there's two sets of holes, see that? Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go backwards a couple pages and pull up my first new hole that's got tool number two. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I wanna make a couple slight changes, right? So the first change I wanna make is that I wanna make that Z depth actually be minus 350 thousandths, okay? And I wanna make it do it in three pecs, and I wanna slow down the feed rate a little bit, okay? Or I'm sorry, the RPM a little bit. And then I've also want to uh, speed up the feed rate a little bit, okay? Because when I use copy, it makes exact same programs, I still only have to change event number four Event five and six are repeats, so they'll automatically change with it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change modes and go to the run mode to make the part. I've already set my zeros and everything else uh, before we got started here, so I go to run mode. I'm gonna start at the beginning of the program. It's asking me to push go when ready, so when I push go, it's gonna move over to the tool change position, and it's telling me when I'm ready to put in the first tool, start the spindle, and push go. This is also where I would use tracking if I needed, but in this case, I know that I've already checked this out and it's correct, okay? So it's telling me to turn the spindle on. So I do that, okay? Push go. Most of the time when I do a part like this, I'll stop just above the part, check and make sure the number I have here matches what it looks like I got there. And if that's the case, put my uh, safety glasses on here, right? And push go and let it start doing the work, right? So once it finishes with the first tool, it's gonna to go home, shut off, tell me to change tools, right? So now I'm gonna grab my drill bit, come over to the machine, swap out my drill bit, like so. Probably put a little lube on here just to make sure we don't uh, make any errors. Turn my spindle back on, push go. And again, I'll probably stop right above the part just to check and make sure my number looks good. It looks good to me, let's let it rip.
So as you can see, this is my completed part showing how to do basic hole drilling using sub repeats and copy repeats.